Hi, Angus, Gaylin, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Thanks for your time. This is the movie, I need to start like that, right? That Andy watched and loved, and, and that's why he, his favorite uh, toy was uh, Buzz Lightyear. Yeah. So the story was there since 1995. <laughs> but you guys um, came up to it. I mean, can, can you tell me a little bit the story, maybe, Angus, if you want to start, I mean, how how all this happened? I mean, how uh, where the idea started and how we are going to have now the Lightyear movie? Well, uh, I, when I started at the studio in 1997, the character I was most excited about working on was Buzz Lightyear. And I worked on Buzz Lightyear quite a bit on the second film, uh, the intro with Fighting Zerg and uh, the second Buzz Lightyear was like a little bit more insane. Um, that, that really was what I focused on as an animator. And I'd always been excited about the universe that Buzz was from. And I never really felt like it had been explored to uh, a satisfactory uh, result. So when we were trying to figure out what to do next, um, after Dory, I wanted to make um, really, you know, I was trying to figure out what, what, what kind of movie to make. And then I realized I just wanted to make a movie like the kind of movies I saw when I was a kid sort of sci-fi movies and action movies. So I figured, well, it'd be neat to combine both the ideas of uh, the Buzz Lightyear universe and an action movie and just keep it really simple and just make the Buzz Lightyear uh, movie. And that, that's really what I wanted to, to do. Uh, it seemed just kind of simple in a fun way. And then you can just focus on making that movie as awesome as possible. Okay. And you we're working here with precious material, right? I mean, this character is one of the, the, the is so ingrained in Pixar's history and, and is so much part of all the, you know, what, when we think about Pixar, we think about this, this is one of the main characters there. So were you worried about that? Like, it's, it's like a big responsibility, right? <laughs> Maybe, Gaylin, if you wanna answer this one. <laughs> um. Were we worried about that? I mean, yes and no, right? There, there's a certain amount of confidence that you have going into a project like this when you've done so much with this character prior, right? Having worked on so many of these films and, um, and like directing Toy Story of Terror. So it's not like the first time that we've taken the character someplace. Um, and I think the interesting thing for us was that, yes, it's Buzz, but it's not the it's not the toy bus, right? So we're creating a whole new universe here. And so it was really much more about, can we create a compelling, interesting, awesome, fun universe that people want to be in as much as they wanted to be in the Toy Story? Not, not, not because they're the same, they're different, but it needs to be equally compelling. So is this a Toy Story movie or not? It is not a Toy Story movie. Okay. Uh, and, and going a little bit back to the, to the, to the question, uh, the previous question, wh what were your main concerns when you were approaching this movie? Like, I, we, like we don't really want to... <laughs> Disappoint our fans. I mean, so it's interesting because it, it, if you sit and you think about like, okay, you're gonna tell the backstory, take 10 Buzz Lightyear fans, stick them in 10 different rooms and say, okay, where did Buzz come from? You will get 10 radically different stories, right? So it, it became pretty obvious that there was no way we were gonna be delivering the film that everybody's got in the back of their heads. So we had to make a film that's so awesome that when they go and see it, they say, okay, so it's not what I was expecting in the movie, I would have told, but I'm glad they told that movie because that movie was a lot of fun, right? So just making it that good that they're not disappointed. Mm -hmm. But I guess you haven't done this movie only for the fans of Toy Story and Buzz. I mean, it's... Yeah, well, we're doing someone... it for us, uh -huh. right? We make these, we, we work on these films forever, right? It's a five and a half year project. So we make a film that we want to see. We happen to also be Buzz fans, but you don't have to be. You can mm -hmm. go see this movie and never have seen a Toy Story movie before. And you'll, you should be able to have a, a very good time and enjoy it without any of that. About the animation, I mean, the, the, the character has been in different movies across, I mean, different decades. Uh, animation moves, changes fast, and, and technically, I mean, uh, and, and, but obviously you have 
a lot of tools available now that they were not there 10, 20, uh, almost 30 years ago. Uh, but the character is the same. How do you manage that thing? I mean, because obviously you don't want to change the, the, the character so much that this, it, 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 does, it, it looks different or, or feels different from, from previous movies. Although this is not the toy, by the way, but as you said, so it's like, it's not exactly the same character. But uh, were you like dealing with this situation in, in your mind, you're like, working on the movie? Yeah, well, we have a, the stylization of Buzz, of course, is different than the toy, but there are things in the way that it's animated that make it feel like Buzz. Uh, sometimes it's really small things, his eyebrows, the length of his upper lip, uh, the way that he, is, he, he looks left and right, the way he just moves. There's a certain flavor of what makes Buzz Buzz. And although the toy is a different physiognomy than the human character, there were definitely things that made it not look like Buzz. And so there were just a, a, a language of, just as we're drawing, the character is a different model and looks differently than he does in Toy Story. It has the feeling of Buzz, but it's, but it's, it's changed a bit. The motion was very similar where we tried to uh, interpolate the motion in a way that, that felt appropriate for that character. Okay, thank you. And what would you think is gonna be the most surprising thing in this movie for, for the fans? I don't know what's surprising that the cat talks. That's pretty surprising. Um, the, I don't know. Um, I think that the surprise will be this isn't exactly what they thought it was going to be because how could they? And it's ended up being something that they enjoyed. I think that, that it's, it's such a, you know, we, we've gone down a very specific road that's, that's a little unusual. And I think that and we love it. And I think that they will too when they see what it is. And the last one for each of you, uh, what was your favorite part of having worked in, in this movie. Watching the team figure out how to be so amazing together, even though everybody was sitting in their own homes, holding their children, pets running all over the place. I mean, it, there was so much distraction, yet they were all so engaged with each other and collaborating to make something. I, I, I didn't think it was possible when we first were sent home two years ago. Yeah, it's pretty amazing. And for you, Angus? Uh, uh, well, I mean, it's, you're, you're getting to see, uh, you know, ideas executed every day. So you're seeing, you, you, you get to see the movie before anyone else. Uh, <laughs> and so there are just so many artistic and technical triumphs that as a director, I would get to witness. And then um, what I tried to do is if I saw something cool, tell everyone else about it. Just try to be a facilitator for communication over Zoom. Uh, because there, there were so many neat things that were happening. Um, but I think ultimately when we saw like a test audience, we watched the test audience, that was really great because they were really excited about it. You know, we finally see what the audience and they get it. We were so separated because of uh, COVID that uh, that was nice because we had been so away from each other. Thank you so much. I'm really looking forward to watch the whole thing. Thank you. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you.